Hey, this is Dave from Gravity Wiz. So the Gravity Forms team, I feel like they basically snuck this release out. Uh, and I'm so excited about it. I wanted to just record a quick video to show you. So in Gravity Forms 2.8.1 uh, combined with Survey 4.0, there's now the ability to use Likert and rank fields in conditional logic. All the other survey field or input types were previously supported. So I just cooked up a really simple demo here. It's not like a real world use case at all. But if we go down to our single line text field here and we go to the conditional logic, you're going to see that now, first of all, this Likert field is selectable and it has all of our options here. So you can do any of the the rating levels or you can say empty, no choice selected. So that's awesome. But then even cooler, the Likert multiple rows configuration. So that's where you have the Likert field selected here and then you can enable multiple rows. Uh, and then these could all be like different questions like, you know, how do you feel about this topic or this or this or this? And then they can kind of rate them uh, in bulk almost. Um, so they did a brilliant job of handling this with the conditional logic. So you can actually select each of those almost was almost as if it was its own field um, by selecting it by row. So you can see this first row here, the fifth row is what I have selected. Uh, and you can see is strongly agree or same. So basically the same conditional logic as you would expect on the other, uh, on, a, on a regular Likert field. It's just that you can do it per row. So also very cool. Uh, and then I think the one that I might be the most impressed with is the rank field. So with the rank field, and we'll go to our field here that we have the conditional logic applied to, again, much like the Likert multi multiple rows, you can select each of the ranked options individually. And then with each option, you can check for the position of it. So is it in position five uh, or you know, any of the other positions, um, but even cooler. So is in the position or if it's not in a position, but then you can also do cool things like if it's in a position greater than or less than. So essentially like if you wanted to see if something was in the bottom half of the results, you could say, you know, is in a position greater than three if, for in the case of having five. Um, so yeah, super cool. <clears throat> And then just worth noting, again, these other, the rating field was already supported, but just the fact that um, it is a cool concept. So with rating fields and you have, you know, this terrible, blah, 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 not so great neutral. And this is, uh, I think they even pointed out in their marketing at Gravity Forms that this is a great way, like if you want to get more feedback on it, like, hey, like, why is this, why, you know, did you give it this rating? Um, would you like to elaborate? So super cool, just a quick little uh, preview of that on the front end here. So you're gonna see, and then down here, I think I only did one on this field here, but again, you could do it combined or like think about things like if they click strongly agree on everything, you could even put like a challenge question in there like, hey, that's awesome. Like, are you sure you're giving us valid feedback? Uh, and then the last one, oh, I guess I will show the other one too, but see, we'll move this down to the fifth position and you'll see that that single line text field shows up. And then if we move it above it, it's not so cool. Uh, and then last one there again was the rating here. If you go max, I have it. That's how I have it configured. That's it. Uh, just wanted to share that with you. I think this is like a really, really awesome, uh, feature. And I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more of these kind of feature ads coming from gravity forms in the near future. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.